For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from God. Yo, guys, yo, 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 where's my water at? You. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Get comfortable, get yourself a cup of tea, a cup of juice, a cup of something nice. You know how it is on my channel. Um, thank you for pressing play. Thank you for coming back. Notification gang, I see you. What's good? How y'all doing? So, keep it nine six for more. You want the other day on Instagram, I did ask a question on my Insta story, and I got an overwhelming response that really just confirmed why I have to do this video. No season, nobody, no fronting. Man, I pay stop. Plenty niggas stop running. Go to sleep with my eyes like fridge and I wake up stunning. Dip me the more than last now, niggas stop calling. Because I had been thinking about my own season of my life and you guys know that I'm always sharing about the seasons in my life and we come and we discuss and we encourage each other. I wanted to know what season you are currently in. I mean, it's July. When did we get to July? The, you, you guys, like, like the year is just going by. I'm just like one day at a time. This one day at a time is going quite fast. And so I just wanted to know, like, where are you guys? You know, it's the middle of the year. Life has been going on. Where are you right now? And I did ask. And the, if you saw on Instagram, and thank you for those who shared, um, I responded to everyone. And um, if you saw people's responses, some people are really in good seasons in their life. They are it, they're in harvest seasons, they are in abundance, life is good. Some people are in the pit, some people are in rock bottom. And I shared it, I wanted to share, I wanted people to see that we are all in different seasons and some are tough, some are good. But I wanted those who are in the tough seasons to see that, you know what? Some people are in good seasons and you can be in a good season. And I wanted those who are in amazing seasons to see that sometimes you can be humbled and life will bring you down to the low seasons. So I wanted to share that and I wanted people to think um, and to see um, how we are all in different seasons of our lives. Here is what I have to say. I also did say that I will share my season in this coming video. I don't want this to be lengthy guys because we haven't even gotten to what I want to speak about. Um, I'm opening my Bible and I'm trying to get to the verse that we're going to speak about today. Uh, Romans, 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 Romans. So I am currently studying the book of Romans. Um, when I moved to Cape Town, um, I was part of a Bible study. Um, back home and as I was leaving they were starting Romans back home so one of the, a gift that I got from a very lovely lady that I'll always appreciate in my life um, Dr. Reese she gave me a commentary book on Romans so if you don't know a, what a commentary is it's basically like another book um, that explains things further and deeper and elaborates more on verses so she gave me a commentary book on Romans and so I've been studying Romans so since I've been to Cape Town, that is my focus. I'll probably be studying Romans for the rest of the year. Um, so I'm currently on chapter four. So I'm there studying, reading my Bible, y'all, easy chilling. And when I tell you, I say this all the time, that the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Like it's, it separates the spirit and the soul. Like you know that verse, like, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was reading there, I was studying. But when I got to this verse, hey, I was triggered. You had ever read the word of God? And it hits you. This changed my life, yo. Like, I read this and I was like, yo. I'm playing. I've been playing, guys. This whole time, I've been playing. I've been playing. Based on all that I've said, that we're all in different seasons. We're trying at this life thing. We're all trying to better ourselves. You know, self-development. You know, we're trying to grow. We're all trying to be better versions of ourselves. We're trying to get our careers. We're trying to be established. I mentioned to you one of my favorite verses. Um, that God strengthens us, he settles us, he restores us. You know, we're all trying to be settled and restored and we're trying to live our best lives, right? Here on earth. So we're all on this journey of trying to do better, be better. So anyway, this verse, I'm going to read it for you now. If you have your Bibles close to you, if you don't, that's fine. I will put it on the screen um, and we will read it all together and we will have a young discussion 
and I'll be out of your faces. All right, all right, all right. So, okay, quick background, quick background. Um, so here, yeah, Romans is just speaking about, okay, having the faith, you know, we're justified by faith. And here, chapter four, speaking about Abraham. For, okay, when I thought about this, you guys, I thought that I have to sing this song. Sunday school kids, back in the day, please, please show yourself, show yourself. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, and I'm one of them, and so you. So let's just praise the Lord right on left on. Chapter four, speaking about, um, Abraham and the faith that he had you guys know Abraham back in the Old Testament. He had the faith He is the father of all nations. You guys know right? He was old He was like a hundred years old and Sarah his wife was 90 and they didn't believe that you know We could get a child and God gave him a child you guys know that story very complicated story But that that story, you know, and there he was Sarah was laughing at God like brah How's that gonna happen and like how's that gonna happen? And yeah, so God gave them the promise and God fulfilled the promise, right? Jump into verse 20, speaking of Abraham. It says, He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, verse 21, and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was able to perform. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them and so are you. He was an example to us. We need to learn and have faith like he did. Let's look again at the faith of Abraham. Verse 20 says, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith giving glory to God and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was able to perform. What are we learning here? Abraham did not waver in unbelief. We have beliefs. We've been promised by God. God has so many promises that he has given to his children and we cannot waver in unbelief. Lesson number one. He was strengthened in faith. This is the season that I believe I'm in. I am being strengthened in faith. Um, he was, but he was strengthened in faith. He had the faith. What is faith? What is faith? Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. What is faith? What is faith, guys? What is faith? What is back to basics? Someone said their season is back to basics. This is back to basics. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. What are you hoping for? I always ask this question. What is your hope? What are you hoping for? You have to be strengthened in your faith as you have hope. Oh, come on, somebody. This is a word. The, I'm not even done, guys. It continues to say, okay, so we cannot waver in unbelief at the promise of God through unbelief, right? But he was strengthened in faith. We need to be strengthened in the faith of the things that are not seen, of things that we hope for. We need to be strengthened as we wait for the things that we pray for and believe in God for, that he will do for our lives. In the meantime, giving glory to God. Giving glory to God. Wow, guys, I, yo, giving glory to God in the meantime. And then verse 21, yo, that's why I'm saying I'm playing games. And Abraham, and we should be fully convinced that what he had promised, what God has promised us, he is able to perform. I will guys, I will guys, I will guys. Are you hearing this word like I'm hearing this word? Some of us need to be in seasons where we're asking God to increase our faith. Increase our faith. We need to be fully convinced, Joel. We doubt, we are, you know when you pray, where you're asking God for things, but you, at the back of your mind, de, 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 at the back, you're just like, this is not gonna happen. Yo, we cannot be, we cannot be praying and having doubts. We cannot be praying and then, we cannot pray and, 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 and not be sure what we're asking God for. We need to be sure, fully convinced. Abraham is fully convinced that God is able to perform what he has promised. First John chapter 5 verse 14 for those of you who want to write this verse down. Now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us. God hears us when we have the confidence, when we are fully convinced, when we, when we do not doubt, when we do not waver that whatever we ask according to his will 
he hears us and he will answer us. He is able, he can do it. <sighs> Guys, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged. I spoke to a lot of you on Instagram. Um, those of you who were DMing me and responding and sharing, some of us had conversations and I was speaking to a lot of you and I kept saying, keep the faith. This is what I'm talking about and I say, keep the faith. I, I, you know when you are a Christian and you say, okay, I have the faith, so you know that you have the faith and then you're stagnant in the faith. No, 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 no. There is growth. You know that there is milk and meat, you know. You start eating the milk of the word of God and then you start eating the meat of the word of God. We need to grow. We will always grow. So keep the faith, but that faith, not, don't keep, when I say keep the faith, I'm not saying be comfortable and be stagnant in the faith, but let it, let it keep it keep growing and, and, and increasing and yeah, okay, <clears throat> let me get myself together. <laughs> I love you guys, I love you guys, I love you guys so much, thank you for your patience, um, I do know I need to do better with coming to post, with coming here and talking to you guys more often. Um, sometimes I, I honestly feel that, um, like when am I coming to share, because I'm still growing, I'm still learning, <laughs> literally, I'll have times where I'm just like, but what am I even telling someone else when I'm still learning these things myself, um, but I realize that um, I am a vessel, I want to be a vessel of God, and um, if God can speak through me, if God can use me, I am here, and I will, I'll be available, I am available for God to do what he wants to do with me. I will see you guys in my next video. So yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You guys, I am, yeah, I've got, I've got things to do, sure. Yeah, I've had to become so organized. I have to-do lists and it's a tactic up in these streets, y'all. But anyway, nipile guys, nipil, nipil. We are out here living in the obedience of the word of God. Um, and I know that we struggle. I do too. Um, but we we want to live, you know, um, in obedience to the word of God all the time. So let's try our best in these streets. Okay. Um, right. Be well. Be well. Be well. Keep well. Keep warm. Oh, guys. Wow. Be warm. Mm. And um, I don't want to say bye, I just want to keep talking. Oh my goodness, I can keep talking. So I'm going I'm to just press the button there and, and press stop and, and, and say goodbye. And, new squad, new squad, finna change sides. It's a brand new season.